Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. In today's video, I wanna start by saying it's a sponsored video by Fuel Shaker. And I think that's important to say because now in today's industry, there seems to be more than one competitor in the ultra competitive drop ball technology shaker cup market. Yes, I know. Watching other YouTube videos, you would think that there's only one company out there, but no, my friends, there are more. And I wasn't really looking to get into a sponsorship opportunity with a shaker cup company because to be honest, I have more shaker cups than I care to admit. But part of that is, is I see how often the other competitors are promoted and their high cost point, and really you can get something very similar at a lot less of a cost. And that's really where the fuel shaker comes in. So I'm not gonna come in here and try to blow your mind. I'm not gonna come in here and tell you it's the best shaker cup out there and then show you a box that's never been used and tell you how great this thing is. Vince G, looking at you, buddy. But I'm gonna tell you, based off of what it is and the cost point, this is a very solid choice to go with if you're interested in something similar. So obviously, for the shaker cup, it serves the purpose. You can put water in here, liquid in here. It has a top, it has a spout. But what sets this apart is the bottom compartment that actually screws right off, and it has a compartment for you to put your powders. That way, if you have something mixed in here or water and you don't wanna mix whatever you're having in here is right away, you can get away with that. And you simply press a button, the ball drops, and then you have your mixed supplement. So you could start off here with some pre-workout. You could have BCAAs in here if you choose to have BCAAs in the drop box compartment. And then once you finish your pre-workout, just fill it up with water and you just press the button and you're good to go. And I know what you're probably thinking, but Brandon, the competitor drops from the top. Yours drops from the bottom. What's the deal? Well, my friends, with this new technology called flipping it upside down, you too can now have something drop from the top. Magic, my friends, magic. But what I really like about this, besides that aspect, if you're looking to have more than one type of powder or refill these, is first of all, that when you take this compartment out, you can actually clean this thing very easily because it is see-through. And for me, personally, one of the biggest issues I have with some of these other shaker cups, especially these longer black ones, is getting down to the bottom because the sediments tend to sit at the very bottom. And the problem is, is my big man hands, I can't get it in there. I cannot reach the bottom. So cleaning some of this stuff out and that residue can be really tough, especially when you're dealing with things like protein that tend to stink pretty bad. Having a solution that allows you to clean the bottom very easily and get all that gunk out is very good for me. Not to mention, again, if you're the type of person who has a ton of different powders out there, let's say that you have this guy set up to run and operate, but you're gonna be gone all day and you wanna pack some protein or you wanna pack something else you don't want to keep it in baggies maybe you have three scoops of protein throughout the course of the day they actually sell these little bottom cartridges if you're interested where you can actually have spares so you just switch out the bottom and it's that easy so overall it's a very easy alternative to some other competitors out there and again half the price plus adding in some features and benefits that I find a little bit helpful plus it has this nice little handle on here so if you want to strap this to your belt or whatever else you want to strap on you can do that so the link for this company will be in the description box below I don't have any kind of affiliation code with them so if you're interested and you want to pay for it then you can if not I understand so let's go on to the rest of the video. All right, so back in my office, one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video was just the lack of direction and progression in my training as of late. And it's really getting a little bit frustrating on my end, but I'm really telling myself that I gotta keep pushing through because I've been here before. So anyone who's really watched my channel over the past couple of years, you'll know that at some point each year, I really kind of lose all direction. I really attribute this to the fact that I've been in a training cycle, a similar training cycle for a long amount of time. Literally all year I've been running my own programming, even going into last year, and I've seen great results. I've had two very successful meets where I've set total PRs and individual lift PRs, so I'm very happy with that. But I'm at the point right now where I'm in a somewhat of a transitional phase, and not the kind of transitional phase you might be used to if you've been watching Bruce Jenner or more recently Matt Kroc. I mean, seriously, what the hell's going on there? But the transitional phase that I like to kind of attribute this to is what I'm going to call a mid-training crisis. So you guys are probably familiar with the term midlife crisis where someone's about halfway through their age. Of course, I'm sure you're gonna get some jokes in the comment section below about my own age and if I'm already past that point. But a midlife crisis to me is where you really look at things in your life, you're not really sure where you wanna go, you're getting a little bit older and you wanna make changes, so you kinda of just go out and try a bunch of different things that are really outside of your comfort area. And that's what I go through at every point each year, it seems like. I've been in a long training cycle right now, I'm not really sure where the direction I wanna go is, I think I wanna make a change, but I'm just gonna be trying some different things out in the gym. 
without getting a little bit too crazy. We'll still not see some kipping pull-ups on my end, uh, but just kind of experimenting a little bit with different programming methodologies, if you will. So I've been doing that a little bit lately. There's really been no real consistent rhyme or reason to my training, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's frustrating right now, again, just because I'm not really making the progress that I want to, and I don't have any kind of clear-cut plan, and I'm the type of person that likes to have a lot of structure in their life. But again, having been here before, for the most part, every single year, I know I'll get through it because for me what happens when I get frustrated now because work's busy, my travel schedule's been fairly busy, getting married in a couple of weeks and that's going to really throw things off as well. As much as it's hectic here and frustrating now, I know that I'll get to the point where I really want to buckle down, pick a program that I want to do pick some progression and be really consistent in the gym because I'll just get so fed up. So even though we're in a little bit of a lull right now, again, I really have the grand scheme of things in my mind and I know sometimes it's important to take a step back or there are gonna be some progression in my own training in order to see more progression overall. So I'm in this little bit of a down period, but I know I'll come out of it. And at least it gives me the opportunity to really try some things I might not necessarily do otherwise. Because again, when it comes to my programming, I'm usually really strict and really regimented, which doesn't allow me much room to play around or stray from that. So that's what I'm really doing now. Although again, frustrated, I'm still enjoying training in the aspect that I'm just going in, fucking around, having a pretty good time, and being able to bring you sponsored videos by Fuel Shaker, which I do wanna say that I am very appreciative of what they sent me, so I know in my videos I tend to have a little bit of a sarcastic edge to my reviews, but I do think it's a good deal if you're looking at other similar shaker cups that cost twice as much. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. Again, links in the description box below, and in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, and stay big.